Greetings, fellow Godless Rockers. I'm Steve. And I'm Tally from Monster, Monster on Sunday. Sunday! In this week's BAM blog, we review five reasons that atheists are not religious. And no illusions from the Scathing Atheist podcast will be making a guest appearance. That's right. You may have heard that atheists are religious from religious friends or family. If not, consider yourself lucky that you haven't had to deal with this ridiculous assumption. Atheism is in itself a religion. In today's episode, we will destroy this mind-numbing theist claim that atheism is a religion. Also, we'll take a sneak peek behind the scenes as we check the progress on our new songs. So stay tuned for episode 10 of Godless Rockers. Just real quick, we want to wish you guys a happy Zombie Jesus Day. He died for your sins, then came back for your brains. <laughs> Okay guys, in no certain order, here we go. Number five, atheists are not religious because atheism is not an ism. It is a response to religion. It is a rejection of religious claims. There have been many God claims throughout history made by theists, and if a person does not accept those claims, they are an atheist. In fact, even a Christian is an atheist in regards to the other thousands of gods that have been proposed throughout history. And people who don't believe in any gods are just taking their stance on one single God further than those that believe in a monotheistic God. <laughs> That's an interesting way to look at it. Moving right along to reason number four, atheists are not religious because there's no doctrine to adhere to. There's no set of policies on behavior on how to live your life outlined by atheism. All that's required of the definition of atheists is simply don't believe in God. Well, that sounds simple enough. Let's go to reason number three. There's no infallible book, like the Bible, for example. Though there may be many informative books on the topic of atheism, an atheist has no requirement to read them, to agree with them, to follow their advice, and or to spread them to others. And on to reason number two, there's no real authorities unlike religion. Although atheists may listen to and or respect some outspoken leaders on the topic, you are not required to do so in any way to fit into the definition of atheist. Again, all this required is to reject God claims, period. Just a quick side note, many non-religious people prefer to label themselves with other related terms such as humanist, naturalist, realist, skeptic, agnostic, anti-theist, etc. However, if a person does not believe in God, then they are an atheist, whether they choose to assert that title for themselves or not. We are of the mindset that the term atheist should be used to describe ourselves as non-believers because we believe it's important for more people to come out of the closet in order to destigmatize the term. That's right, and reason number one that atheists are not religious is because there are no moral pronouncements. Atheists have no Ten Commandments that they must do or else. Wait! Oh, shit. <laughs> you guys. I was just reminded that this last reason may be bullshit. It turns out that atheists do have strict rules to adhere to. In fact, these rules were outlined in our song, The Atheist Ten Commandments. And to be an atheist, one must follow these to a T. And because we will not be sacrificing our son to provide a loophole for atheists who do not follow our commandments, you better get it right, motherfuckers. Let's take a listen. So there you have it. Now go and apply those to your life. This was from our Reason Rally performance last year. So many fun people were there, including No Illusions from the Scathing Atheist podcast. Hey Noah, what do you make of the Atheist Ten Commandments? Hey, what's up, Godless Rockers? No Illusions of the Skating Atheist Podcast here. I want to tell you about a fun time I had. So I got turned on to Monster on Sunday by a listener, had him on the show, loved their stuff. I'm really stoked when I got, uh, found out I was going to get a chance to see him live in uh, D.C. at the Reason Rally. So I'm at the show. And uh, Tally comes up to this guy and says, We've got a new song for you here. It's called The Atheist Ten Commandments. And Tally and Steve are awesome, and I love their stuff. And I'm like, okay, so I'll forgive them for the idea that there would be commandments in atheism, right? So the song starts, and it's got this long intro, and it's really awesome, and I'm kind of getting into it. And, and then I'm like waiting for the lyrics to start, and I'm like, man, this is a really long intro. And then I look up, and I realize that at some point, Tally has disappeared from the stage and is no longer there. And uh, it was an instrumental. That's awesome. So like somehow Monster on Sunday got even cooler in that moment for me. So thanks for that. Thanks, Noah. So that about sums it up perfectly. The bottom line is that if atheism is a religion, then not collecting stamps is a hobby. Let's hear a quick word from Bill Maher on the topic. And 
And finally, new rule, until someone claims to see Christopher Hitchens' face in a tree stump, idiots must stop claiming that atheism is a religion. There's one little difference. Religion is defined as the belief in and worship of a superhuman controlling power, and atheism is precisely not that. <laughs> Got it? Atheism is a religion like abstinence is a sex position. <laughs> Hell, <laughs> fuck yeah. And something important to note is that religious people are making this false assertion as the beginning of a slick marketing ploy. Basically, they're bypassing the dogmatic religion definition and going to a vague definition of religion, which we went into details on our last episode. If you'd like to dive further into the subject, we'll give you a quick link to that in just a moment. Please let us know if you've encountered the scam from your friends and family in the comments below. Also, join us this week as we go behind the scenes with Monster on Sunday to work on new songs. Check it out. Hey, what's up, guys? We have our little notepads here, and we're taking notes. It's been just a little bit since we have visited our songs for the new album. We're going to be taking a listen to them with fresh ears and making notes on what are the next steps for these songs. We put songs on the back burner for a while because you get stuck in a rut. So creatively, sometimes it helps just put them on the shelf for a while and then dust them off later. Awesome. So here we go. <laughs> we just listened to Fuck God. Woo! Damn. Yes. What is your thoughts on that? <laughs> this song rock. <laughs> I think this is more fun than Just Like You. I mean, I think this oh, is yeah. more fun than any song we've ever done. Before we were talking about how on the bridge you had trouble distinguishing when to start, I think it'll be a lot easier because I put that drum fill in. There's like the build, and right after the build you go. Yeah. So it should be a much more clear indication for you and the audience. Yeah. It would be really cool if there's like an echo of your voice when you go, fuck God, fuck God. Fuck yeah, and the last chorus is to make it different. Oh, just on the last one, okay. Yeah, Which you we don't need have to back any me yet. up there. That'd be badass to have a male voice in there. Yeah. On this one, for we sure. Just... <laughs> I only had actually one issue, and I just feel like I was a little pitchy on the bridge. Yeah. I, I get what I'm doing, and that's the point. So it's not yeah, even necessary. Yeah, as long as you know what you're doing. I literally don't think there's anything else we have to do on this song. We this song, have... I think, is going to be one of the most popular on this album. At least with Americans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's called G.I. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, so first responses of the song, oh hell fucking yeah! Oh, oh, yeah. Definitely have to re-sing that, but yeah. This is so great. It just needs to come in uh, sooner. But I can totally work this. What you have right here is excellent. I noticed we both kind of winced when the second chorus repeated. Yeah, we're like, what? What happened there? Yeah, so either it was because the singing's off or the music's off. I don't know what. And I'm just gonna leave it for now until you re-sing it. All right, so that's it for this one. Yeah, that's Next. it. Uh, we're just basically waiting on some more lyrics and then do yeah. some formatting. So far, yeah. these songs fucking rock. We're oh, talking okay. about Let the Church Fall. I like that radio effect or whatever that is. Yeah. Telephone, whatever. Yeah, it sounds nice. I kind of wrote. Drops it down I wrote the song solid. more around your effects. This one really helps to have your voice. It's kind of interesting. You've not done that before. I love that breakdown. That was ridiculous. When I heard that, I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. yes. And it does drop into this powerful thing, and right there. And then you go into guitar, it's perfect. Yeah. In this song, we tried something new. We tried this around sort of thing where we sing around. Actually, I think it sounds badass. So thanks for joining us for another episode of Godless Rockers. Tune in for next week's episode as we discuss why atheists should unite. Check out last week's vlog, Christians Are Not Religious, that we referred to earlier, right here. And click here to check out our store where you can get music, merch, and more. 
Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe so you never miss an episode. See you next Sunday at noon. We're Monster on Sunday! Thanks for joining us on Godless Rockers.